What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave and welcome back to another unboxing. New technology of headphones. HyperX has partnered with a company called Audis. Audis. Now they've come out with a um, magnetic driver in their headphones and the neat technology about this headphones, magnetic drivers versus cone drivers means clear, crisper audio, more of a hi-fi audiophile sound in gaming headsets. And with new technology here, it has three-dimensional 7.1 audio, which means when you turn your head, it's gonna move the surround sound around you. You're gonna feel like you're in the world, in the game. That's pretty cool tech. This headphone here, made by Razer X, or HyperX, I'm sorry, you know the quality of HyperX. They make a ton of headphones, people love them, they're awesome, they're, they're really, really into the gaming scene. So with this one I saw, technology has improved, I had to have it, I had to jump on it and check out the, the, the hype of this kind of technology. So this one's pretty sweet. So this is going to be 7.1 gaming headset, it works with all devices, talking PC, PS4, Xbox One, Mac, mobile, Switch, VR, you name it, this can handle it, which I like. I want to have multiple devices with one headset, which is great. Uh, it's got a great microphone, flexible mic with the windscreen on there, um, and then the, the quality of the headphones look incredible. Uh, they get a 10-hour battery life. Um, that's because the magnetic drivers require a lot of power. Um, so if you're not hooking it up USB, which would be for uh, PS4, PC, um, they, they definitely need the USB. They'll power the magnetic drivers, uh, but if you use it on uh, the Switch, uh, VR headset or mobile or Xbox One, you got to use a 3.5 millimeter driver. Then you got to use the uh, built-in power supply. So without further ado, guys, let's unbox this bad boy. Uh, hopefully the sound is going to be an uh, audiophile uh, upgrade because I'm definitely uh, I'm excited to try these out. So without further ado, guys, like, subscribe, share. And this is just going to be an unboxing video. If you want like a, a test or a mic test or a sound quality review, um, leave me a ton of likes and request it. And then I'll make a review on this uh, headset after I use it for a while, you know, get used to it. Otherwise, without further ado, guys, like, subscribe, share, welcome to the Cave Club. And let's get this unboxed. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the front of the box. We got the side of the box. Got the back of the box. Side again, top, bottom. And let's get this guy unboxed. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. All right. It's like one little cut there. Oh man. New gaming headsets. I'd love to try out because of all my streaming, always using headphones. So I gotta make sure I get the right one. Inside the box system, random literature in there. Oh, we got stuff flying out already. Okay, so what we got here first? Uh, HyperX has you covered. Got issues, let them know. Second one. HyperX peripherals. Congratulations on joining the HyperX family. Thank you. And then your gaming headset quick start guide. So you got a lot of buttons on this headphone, so I'll walk you through them when I unbox it, but you can uh, pause and zoom if you want to uh, read more about this. USB mode. So it looks like the Switch, PS4, and PC use the USB. So that's cool. So that'll automatically charge the drivers, magnetic drivers. Analog 3.5 millimeter. Also on mobile, Switch, PS4, Xbox One. Don't use the uh, USB. That will require the internal battery. You got the mute on and off on the side of the headset there. You got a bunch of buttons. I'll have to keep this out and then we'll look at uh, look at this a little more closely. 
All right, so looking at the box here, let's see what we got. First flap, nice foam. Got some nice weight to it. Not heavy weight, but you know it's got that girth to it. I like that. Cushions feel nice. Now this is a uh, faux leather, I think, but very microfibery uh, memory foam type. It's not that stiff foam. It's very smushy. Kind of feels like um, the Sony. Feels like the Sony uh, cushions. So we got right and left, nice little stickers inside the, uh, the ear cups here. Now these do fold in 90 degrees, so that's good, there you go. Very nice. Wow, look at those magnets inside there, you kind of see the grooves in there. Look at that, right there on the right, look at that. Magnetic drivers, no cones in here. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so let's look at the buttons here. So on the side here, you have your mute of your mic on and off there. This is your power button to turn on the magnetic drivers. Nothing on the, uh, the right, so everything's on the left. All right, so on the bottom here, you're gonna have the, the 3D audio, so you turn that on or off, and there's different settings for the three-dimensional audio. This is where your headset will plug into. This is your USB-C connection. This is your 3.5 millimeter connection. Then you have individual volume controls for your mic volume and the headset main volume there. These extend here. Okay, got some flex to it. Got a nice cushion on top, very good. Gonna have to break these in a little bit. I like how they have nice play here, so it'll fit your head real nice. Good stuff. Okay, look inside the box here. Standard foam packaging. Right, here's the box of goodies. All right. Got a foam, foam bag with everything. Nice, okay. Whoa, okay. All right, nice plush baggy HyperX on it. Very cool. Salt packet. All right, so here's your here's your cables here. Woo! Hello, Mike. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the mic. Nice large uh, uh, screen here. Very flexible. Very nice. Gold plated. Good. This is going to be the uh, the main charging cable for the headphones or the, you know, the USB for the PC or PS4. Nice and long too. Excellent. I like that a lot. Very good. It's almost about an eight foot cord. Cool. And this guy here is the USB-C. This is what you use to charge the ear cups when you're not in use. This is say about uh, four feet. But a four footer, USB-C, USB-C, right there. So this will be hooked up to my keyboard when I'm using it for my PC. And should just about be long enough. Would like to about a six footer, so we'll have to get a six footer later on. And here is your 3.5 millimeter gold plated uh, analog cable for hooking up to um, PC, or your uh, mobile phone, Xbox One, that kind of stuff right there. And let's pop in the, the mic. Right. Like so. And there it is, guys. Awesome. I'm gonna put these uh hook these up to my PC and I'll give you guys an uh, initial reaction when I put them on. Alright guys, be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So after I got uh, done unboxing the, the headphones for you, now I'm gonna put them on, see how they feel, give you a description of them, and then kind of go through the, the software setup with you and see how they sound. Right now I'm using the HyperX 
uh, uh, Streamcast, uh, Hyper Quadcast. Yeah, this beast. This is the beast. Check out my unboxing video and review of this one. Amazing. Love it. All right, let's get the headphones on. I have the USB cord hooked up to my PC so I can get the full 7.1 audio. And uh, let's put these bad boys on. Ooh. Feel good, guys. Nice cushion on top. I like this little bit of a gap right here, so it's not pressing on my head over here. Ear cups feel nice. They completely enclose my, my ear. Definitely, uh, they keep out any background noise, because right now it feels like they're noise isolation headphones. Very comfy, very, very comfy. Microphone's nice. They feel fine, guys, they feel absolutely awesome. All right, so now let's turn off this mic and just speak to you with this mic. So let me turn off the quadcast and turn on the HyperCloud Orbits. All right, now I'm speaking to you through this headset. I'm gonna mute this one. So now it's completely off, so you know I'm not using it. All right, guys, so now let me check, check my uh, collection out here. All right, there we are. All right, guys, so these are on. I'm speaking to you with this mic, so let's uh, go through um, some uh, settings. So uh, let's show you my uh, PC here. And the first thing you guys want to do is go to the uh, HyperX gaming uh, website. Go to Support, then choose your Cloud Orbit S headphones, and then go to Software Download. Then you download the software, and then we want to open it right here. Look at my poor PC CPU just burning away with my OBS turned on. Yeah, I have an i3 gateway. It's about nine years old. Still chugging away. And let's get the software up and running. What's up, guys? So I'm back. <clears throat> All right, this is day two with the experience with these uh, Orbit S HyperX headphones. Uh, so yesterday on my stream, I was playing Fortnite. Feel free to catch that video. I was wearing these headphones. And uh, let me tell you, the entire stream sounded great. These headphones are awesome. They're very comfortable. Not a hint of discomfort at all. Felt great. Sounded great. Great things about this headphones, guys. Fantastic. Using the microphone built in. Sounded fine on his end. Just had to fiddle with the cable a little bit. The cable that comes with the, the headphones, these are pretty cheap. These are very flimsy kind of low-end wire so i suggest if you have better quality uh 3.5 millimeter with the three lines in it use those instead to help your uh, microphone sound a little better all right guys but let me tell you very happy with these headphones comfortable awesome sound there's a lot of different presets um so let's go let's go to the website here <clears throat> and we'll go through the uh through the settings here all right Okay, guys, so we're on the HyperX Gaming website, and this is the actual page for the headphones. So HyperX Cloud Orbit Gaming Headset. A 100 millimeter planner magnetic drivers. Fantastic. Just incredible, guys. This is really, really cool stuff. So you got that immersive 3D audio. Now the head tracking thing, I think is more for virtual reality. So if you're a VR person, th these would be pretty awesome for you. Uh, the tracking technology isn't very good for overall stuff, just cause the sound is more in front of you all the time, no matter what, or it's kind of always in the same spot. It's kind of hard to explain, but, but yeah, these are definitely comfortable headphones. Definitely better sound than uh, standard drivers. Really cool stuff. Now this advanced audio uh, customization, this is the software you download to uh, tweak the settings out a little bit more. I'll go to that in a sec. Detachable noise canceling microphone with pop filter. That's always a good thing. These are the three cables that come with it. Your USB type A to USB C, your 3.5 millimeter, and then USB type C to USB type C. Now your onboard controls, right? So the 3D button here, when you press that button, that turns on the 3D audio. Uh, if you press it again, it'll center 
uh, the headphones. So if you're doing that head tracking uh, feature, you'd press it once and it centers the, the headphones. If you hold it down, that's when you can switch between the various uh, 3D modes. So you can actually turn off the head tracking, which I would do, and just have 3D audio on. Or if you hold it down again, you can turn the 3D audio off and just have a standard headphones uh, stereo. So your uh, microphone jack goes here, your USB-C goes here, and this will be your 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. And then, of course, you have your microphone control and your volume control. Now, um, when you hold, when you press this button in, um, you can change between 7.1 audio, uh, two-channel stereo, or high-res audio. If you just want to listen to high-res audio tracks, keep it in high-res. Another way to change the different sound fields between flat, default, RPG, uh, footsteps, um, music mode, warm mode, you would press it in and then go down or up and you scroll between the different uh, sound fields. HyperX compatibility. So there's your price there, $329.99 for the Orbit S or $299.99 for the uh, standard one without the head tracking. Um, so that's probably what I would suggest is this one without the head tracking, unless you're a VR person. Um, of course, the awards are fantastic on these headphones. Really, really good reviews. Look at the frequency, frequency response, 10 hertz to 50,000. That's nuts. That's well beyond human hearing. That just goes to show you the driver of that plantar transducer and that magnetic driver is just awesome. Look at this uh, total harmonic distortion, 0 0.1. That's super clean, man, super clean sound. And there's your weight. There's some other stuff there. About 10 hours for the battery life if you're unplugging the USB. All right, guys, let's check out the, um, the, uh, the software here. So let's, let's show you my, my face here. So basically when you're looking, so what I can do here is if you look in the screen, uh, 3d audio on or off right now, it's on auto on. So that's just 3d audio on like a normal 7.1 headset. Uh, then 3d is off. So it's just a two channel press it again. It's going to go manual. Uh, so this, you know, the head tracking works really well. So if you see my head move, you see the, the dummy's head move. It's really cool stuff. They're saying there's over a thousand calculations going on per second to track your head movement. It's very accurate, to be honest with you. It's really cool. Uh, so manual is just you kind of tweak it the way you want. Center is like when I'm looking center, it's centered. And what's really cool, guys, is you can actually hear the voice. Uh, tell you what mode it's in and what EQ setting you're going to be in, volume and all this stuff, battery life, all good stuff. And there's one more 3D mode called uh, auto, so it automatically senses your center point. It kind of just always senses it. So really cool stuff. Maybe in the future if they update the firmware and make the sound a little better, it's pretty cool. Uh, so over on the left here, you got your head circumference, so you want to measure your head. My, my big noggin is 24 inches, so that's set. Uh, the uh, the inner inner Earl arc that's just between your two earlobes in the back so mine's 11 inches and then the uh the room ambience or ambiance um that much that's how much reverberation you want going on in your room and you kind of adjust that and play with it uh look at the top here you got your sound profiles you got those are the various sound profiles that uh, you can change the sound depending on what you're listening to um my mine is just default at least i like default default or warm for me just kind of tone down the high pitched uh uh, sound effects and games but i'm still playing with that i'm not sure which one's best so you decide on that one uh device info there uh, you get the version of the uh, device of the app different uh description of what the uh the buttons are and and what uh, plugs they're at firmware update this is where you can update the firmware but you have to actually download the firmware software first which there isn't right now and then you, you uh, click on that software and then uh and update it uh, so go back there and then on the far right, uh, there's your center, there's your on, your battery life, your mute mic, and then I'm connected with USB. So that is the uh, software. Well, let's go back to the full screen here. All right, guys. So this is my uh, unboxing and a little bit of speaking about this headphones. I love them. They're awesome. I'm going to break them in and get them better sounding and play with the, the different uh, modes and uh, go from there. Hope the mic test sounded okay for you. I'm not sure I didn't listen to the video yet. 
Uh, but guys, this is a pretty fantastic headphones. Definitely check it out. Raf Cave seal of approval. Two thumbs up for this beast. I'm going to rock these for a while. And they uh, look and feel pretty good. All right, guys. So without further ado, I'm Raf in the Raf Cave. Thanks for watching this unboxing video. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Home theater rules. Raf out. See ya. Thank you.